I'm going to read Mark chapter 3, verses 7 to 35. Jesus withdrew with his disciples to the lake, and a large crowd from Galilee followed. When they heard all he was doing, many people came to him from Judea, Jerusalem, Idumea, and the regions across Jordan and around Tyre and Sidon. Because of the crowd, he told his disciples to have a small boat ready for him to keep the people from crowding him. For he had healed many, so that those with diseases were pushing forward to touch him. Whenever the impure spirit saw him, he fell down before him and cried out, You are the Son of God. But he gave them strict orders not to tell others about him. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and have authority to drive out demons. These are the twelve he appointed. <clears throat> Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. To them he gave the name Bonages, which means sons of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Jesus entered the house, and again a crowd gathered, so that he and his disciples were not even able to eat. When, this fa when his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him, but they said, he's out of his mind. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, he's possessed by Beelzebul, by the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. So Jesus called them over to him and began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan opposes himself and is divided, he cannot stand. His end has come. In fact, no one can enter a strong man's house without first tying him up. Then he can plunder the strong man's house. Truly I tell you, People can be forgiven all their sins and every slander they utter, but whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never be forgiven. They are guilty of an eternal sin. He said this because they were saying he has an impure spirit. Then Jesus' mother and brothers arrived. Standing outside, they sent someone in to call him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they told him, your mother and brothers are outside looking for you. Who are my mother and my brothers? He asked. Then he looked at those seated in, in a circle around him and said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. So today, one thing really stood out for me as we read the word of God. It was in this portion where Jesus said he called to himself those he wanted. But he also said something very important. He says he wanted them to be with him and then he would send them. I find that interesting that Jesus is calling us first and foremost to be with him. He's not calling us for the task first. He's calling us first and foremost to be with him and after being with him, he can send us to do his will. As you think about those things today, God bless you.